Lo tov. It's not good for the human to be alone. Up until this point, God had called everything in the Torah tov, good, or tov ma'od, very good. But with this verse, the first utterance of a negative assessment appears. Lo tov. It's not good for a person to be alone. We don't know why God says it, what causes God to look at the solitary human and realize something is missing. But from that moment onward, there were people instead of a person in God's world. And as long as there have been people, we have found ourselves in relationships, all kinds of relationships, with strangers, with acquaintances, with colleagues, with friends, with family. We can't help but connect and even define ourselves by those connections. But not all relationships are made equal. After all, while it might not be good for people to be alone, it was just a few chapters later that Cain kills his brother, Abel. Abel may have been better off alone than in the company of his murderous brother. So it's not the quantity of our relationships that matter, it's the quality. All relationships exist on a spectrum from healthy to unhealthy. And sometimes we might not know what kind of relationship we're in because few things are crystal clear. But there are tools today, tools to help us assess whether or not our relationships are healthy, unhealthy, or even abusive. While God saw the importance of human connection, God also certainly does not want us to live in relationships that hurt. So as you reflect on all of your relationships, you might ask, can I be fully me in this relationship? Does compromise go both ways? Am I lifted up and supported? How am I talked to? How do we disagree? Am I trusted? And maybe most importantly, does this relationship bring me joy? Because relationships are central. Joy is central.